in society and online and social media, you know, we all want to feel good without makeup and we all want to say like, no, like you don't need makeup to be beautiful, which is so true and I totally believe that. But sometimes I feel hypocritical because I'm saying that online, but then when I go to the grocery store, I want to put on a little concealer or something, which is okay. To me, makeup is just art and it's a way for you to express yourself. It's a way for you to feel more confident about yourself. It's a way just to, I don't know, just kind of have fun, honestly. So my nighttime skincare routine changes a little bit, but overall, this is pretty much what I do every single night to take off my makeup. I always put my hair up and I love using scrunchies and then use a little clip. We have some makeup wipes. Um, I've, I've used these things for years. I love them. They're the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Fun fact, if you store your makeup wipes upside down, the newest one you grab every time is like more um, wet, so it's better. I learned that like six years ago on YouTube, so bless the beauty community for teaching me that. I've always just loved makeup, like more than I feel like most girls do. Like in middle school, I just remember I would wake up and I'd beg my sister to teach me how to do my makeup because I just found it so fun and I loved how I would get so much more confidence out of it. I actually started wearing makeup in seventh grade. I went from wearing absolutely no makeup to wearing a full face, including foundation, eyeliner, like thick eyeliner, eyeshadow, blush, like everything. And then it also became this thing where I felt like all my classmates knew that what I looked like with a full face of makeup, so it felt so weird not wearing makeup. And I was in seventh grade and I was 13 years old and, or 12 years old, oh man, yeah, I think it was 12. Wow. I don't know what I was thinking. My mom let me like, totally fine. But looking back, I wore like such thick eyeliner every single day to where I, th looking back, I can totally see how that caused a lot of insecurity because I felt like I couldn't not wear makeup. I would tell my younger self and I would also tell if I have a future daughter to maybe like ease into it, you know, wear like lip gloss, maybe wear a little mascara, like a clear mascara. Um, again, there's like nothing wrong with that, but seeing how much it did affect me, I feel like I could have saved myself if I could go back and say just to like kind of ease into it and let it be fun still. So the next step in my skincare routine is cleansing my face. You know, we gotta wash it now that we got all, of, most of the makeup off. And my skin has always had such uneven texture and this has helped so much. This is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser. So I always think about the fact that if I was in high school now and if I was going through middle school now with the beauty standards that there are, I don't know how girls do it or guys. I don't know how anyone does it because having Instagram, like I'm gonna age myself so much. I didn't have Instagram until I was like a senior in high school and being able to compare yourself to so many people and not only other people, but like unrealistic beauty standards. I can't imagine what people have to go through now so next, we need to moisturize. I am obsessed with the brand Drunk Elephant. They sell it at Sephora, but this moisturizer has done wonders for my skin. You just go like this. Ooh, super cute packaging. I do like one pump. One of the main reasons why I stopped Photoshopping myself was because these beauty standards that I hate so much in the world that are unrealistic, I was doing to myself. I was literally just as guilty of making these unrealistic beauty standards of the things that I hated so much, and I just kind of felt hypocritical, honestly. The next step that I use, a girl from Sephora told me to use this and I used it and I really liked it. So I can't really tell you too much about what it does, but it's the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion, but it kind of just soothes everything down. I think when I start to get down on myself or like, you know, doubting myself or just feeling insecure, I try now to be more aware and see where that's coming from. I think that's such a better way to kind of handle those things instead of just putting yourself down the whole time. And I think when you can kind of take a step back, it's a way less of a mountain to like deal with. So the last step that I do, it's grape water. It's just like literally water in a can and you spray it on your face and it feels really, really good. So I like to do it. And if that's the only reason why, then that's why I should buy a $14 water in a can. Ooh. It feels so good. Now my skin just feels so clean and hydrated. It's funny because when I think of beauty, I think of natural, which is such the opposite of how the world makes us see it. But when I think of someone like genuinely laughing, like to me that's beauty. Or when I think of a mother-daughter relationship, or when I just think of like a friendship of two people who like love each other and care about it. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting older and like my views are like changing that way, but just something natural and genuine and real, I think is what I think beauty is. Thank you so much for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.